an army of volunteers assembles in the desert at the Arizona-Mexico border. They aren't here to track down immigrants or drugs. They're here to pick up trash, border trash. Equipped with tongs, gloves, and trash bags, these volunteers set out to collect it all, and they're ready for a big haul. It's approximately 2,000 pounds of trash per year that's deposited in the desert. Littered about are the traces of border crossings. Well, it's just about anything that you could imagine um, that would be associated uh, with a long journey. Uh, so we're talking about backpacks and clothes. And the garbage just keeps piling up over the years. But not all of it comes from border crossers. This is an example of both illegal dumping and border trash. People will leave behind items such as couches, and then immigrants will dump clothing, blankets, and other materials. It's sad because people are just coming and dumping their stuff. On this day, volunteers came across two large trash cans that reeked. It turns out someone had cleaned out their septic tank and illegally dumped it in the desert. That makes me sad to claim I'm uh, an American and from Arizona. Within three hours, the cleanup event is over. This area returned to its natural state, almost. And the dumpster, it's now full with the trash left behind by the folks who want to live in America and those that already do. In the Rio Rico Valley, Andrew Bovin, Cronkite News.